Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. I want to talk about a really important concept in calculus called the critical point. Here's the definition. Let f be a function and let c be a point in its domain. We call c a critical point if f prime of c is zero or if f prime of c is undefined. We'll want to look for critical points because they'll be really important when we start graphing functions using their derivatives. But let's look at an example where we find some critical points. Consider the function g of x equals 3x to the fourth minus 20x cubed plus 17. And I have that function graphed here. I'm asked to find the critical points and explain their geometric significance. So first, I'm going to set out to find the critical points. And you'll notice the critical point involves the derivative. So the first thing I'm going to do to this function is take its derivative. So it's a polynomial, really easy to differentiate. The derivative of 3x to the fourth is 12x cubed. The derivative of 20x cubed is 60x squared. And the derivative of 17 is 0. So this is my derivative, nice and easy. Let me factor this. It'll always be easier to find critical points if I factor the derivative. And so I'm going to pull out the common factor of 12 and x squared, 12x squared. And that leaves an x and a 5. And so this is my derivative factored. Now remember, I want to look for critical points. And critical points are where the derivative equals 0 or where it's undefined. Now this derivative is never undefined. So I need to find where it's 0. So I set it equal to 0 and solve for x. And this is really easy because it's already factored. And that's why I factored it. So that tells me that x equals 0 or x equals 5. These are the two critical points. Now let me show you what the critical points look like on the graph. So just going back here, I have the graph. I didn't mark any of these points. But since you remember that the derivative gives us the slope of a tangent line, and the critical points are points where the, the slope of the tangent line is 0, these are the critical points here, x equals 0 and x equals 5. <clears throat> and their geometric significance is that these are the points where the derivative, or where the tangent, is horizontal. So if you were to draw a tangent line at these two points, you'd get a horizontal line. So once again, the critical point is a point where the derivative equals 0 or is undefined. And its significance, at least in this example, is that these are the points where the tangent is horizontal. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Lesson. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. 